Questions of staff? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Councillor Davis. Um, I just w wondered about the selection process um, of these particular consultants. Uh, if this is kind of a sole source approach to selecting consultants, and is it consistent with um, our normal practices? And are they, because my understanding is we have a list that is essentially a, a group list of consultants that went out to RFP, um, and we used those. So I wonder if you could just comment, Mr. Through you, Mr. Mayor, I'll start, and Mr. Livy may supplement. Uh, first of all, Councillor, um, th this is, um, uh, a project that we, we are uh, looking to expedite and the first uh, recommendation to A with the University of Toronto, are, they are already on board working with us and so from a staff perspective it's best to utilize uh, them, they're already on board and much of the information in the planning and analysis and transit modeling they could assist with. So we're recommending to you as a committee and council that U of T is the best uh, um, assistance in, in regard to that specialized service. In, in B, it's the same thing in terms of uh, assessing development scenarios as quickly as possible. This firm has experience in this area and we're recommending th this uh, firm to expedite the matter. If we were, as you know, to go through a full process, we would take at least two or three months and we believe that the two that are recommended would most likely uh, ultimately be those that would be chosen. So it's up to committee and council, but we highly recommend to move on this. And, and item C, third party reviewers, what we're saying is when we do some of this analysis, we may still want uh, to have someone look over the shoulder of staff as well as the experts and in effect get a third opinion, uh, a third opinion. Uh, third party peer review and we want authority for that as well. So what do you mean by University of Toronto is already on board? Have we already hired these consultants? They're already assisting. John, can you yes. supplement? Well, through you, Mr. Mayor, um, University of Toronto has been working with us on our network analysis. In, so, in conjunction with them, we've been testing out the wide variety of the network options that we have, including the ongoing transit expansion plans of Scarborough subway. So they already have a contract with We already have a contract so we're extending we would extend that contract they, to do modeling results to be do detailed modeling on all aspects. And of did the we contract plan. We entered into contracts with them previously using Yes. Yes we have. An, okay. And strategic regional research associates. Are you saying we already are using whoever they are? At this stage, no, but they are. Uh, Who are they? They are specialists in this area. But how do we just pick them as the specialists for this area? Don't we normally? They are not on our list. Is that what you're saying? First, well, in terms of, uh, I'm not sure about the list that you referred to, Council. But the bottom line is, we've we looked. We did an RFP where we selected a, oh. a range of consultants for the three hundred thousand dollars that was in the budget for consultants. Uh, some years ago. So, anyway, who is Strategic Regional Research Associates John? and why so, are they? So, Mr. through you, Mr. Mayor. Selected. Uh, strategic Regional Research Associates is Ian Dobson. And Ian Dobson has been a real estate specialist in the area for many years. He's the one, along with others, that have been developing the Smart Track model. We need to know, for, as staff, the elements of that model in detail around assumptions around the population and employment densities and, and uh, other scenarios that will be used so, to test out the smart track model. You need to know the specifics. And then we're going to hire a third party to analyze his work? We're going to, uh, we would hire third party peer reviewers to analyze both the University of Toronto and the Strategic Research Alliance Associates work to see the reasonableness of their assumptions, the high, medium and lowest scenarios and suggest any tweaking that might be necessary to give us a good product that we can rely on. So you're saying they're involved in developing the smart track model? Yes, that's my understanding. When you say smart track, what do you mean? Well, that's what we're trying to determine by in ensuring that we have a detailed understanding of what the smart track 
uh, proposal is. Is this the Metrolinx model? I, I'm, I guess I'm still yeah, not sure. I, no, I don't know if it's proper for me to in any way clarify that because yes. when you use the word smart track, mm -hmm. what Ian Dobson has been involved in over time is the development of the regional express rail concept, which has been under development and discussion and debate and so on for 10 years. Um, and now, of course, as you know, is forming a part of the provincial government's policy. So he's been involved in that. Um, smart track is a name that we put on it. Yeah, I think it would be camp. useful to take the branding off if... Uh, just because I think this is now a government initiative if it's going to be a third party. But anyway. Um, All right. Okay. Um, I had next uh, Councillor Crawford to ask questions of staff. Councillor Perks in the back. I'm sorry. Yes, I have Councillor Perks. I have that's on my list. Oh, I'm sorry. You're visiting member. You're quite right. Sorry about that. I wrote it down after Councillor Crawford. Yes, please, Councillor Perks. So I just, just to uh, follow on the questions Councillor Davis was asking. So the... This Ian Dobson, um, he, was, he was contracted to Metrolink, so the Ministry of Transportation at the province of Ontario, or? Not to my knowledge, in, that, in this particular case, he's been the one that's been working with a group of people to articulate the regional express rail and other things. He does, I understand, sit on the Metrolink's board. He is, and he, has a, he does have extensive knowledge of the real estate industry and what... Oh, he sits on the Metrolinx board, I see. Okay. All right, that, that makes me understand this. And this U of T group, what is their history or particular expertise with this? As I understand it, this is the um, Eric Miller Transportation Group. Oh, it's Eric Miller's group. Engineering. I see. Yet the U of T. Okay. So... So the recommendation, as I understand it, is that we pay Mr. Miller's group uh, to develop or communicate their, what they've already done to us or something like that? Um, through you, Mr. Mayor, no, that's not the case. We want to, we would want to uh, look and model uh, the specifics of the smart track proposal, and we currently have U of T engaged in modeling exercises on a wide variety of other network alternatives and this would be a simply an addition to that modeling work to test out the viability of the scheme. So we're not paying either of these uh, two entities for work they've already done, we're paying them to do new work? That's correct. I see. Thank you. 